right, good morning everybody. It is 9-17, the 24th. God bless you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Excuse me, you guys. Just, it's the most sun I've seen in uh, quite a while. It's very sunny here today. Anyhow, here we go. I want to read a little bit. I wanted to share also, you guys, that that video thing. I guess after so long, those little links that I put up, they disappear. But that was Mini Fish. He had that on there, and he showed it on his Bit Shoot C H U T channel. Bit Shoot. And uh, I started to make a comment, but they want too much information. You know, too much information, and to get on that stuff. And I'm, and at this point. I'm not really ready to sign up and give out all this information. <laughs> and I look at it like this, man. YouTube's done. It's done. It's done. You know? That uh, lady, Doreen uh, Dothan, Doreen Dothan, a, a teacher from Israel. When you hear teachers from Israel, and a teacher, like, you know, in a school, telling people, you know, the hatred that they have, you know, that they're containing from vomiting towards Christians. I said Israel is the, uh, Israel is the, uh, where you want to look, it's the thermostat. When you look there and you see these people doing what they're doing, that's the thermostat to tell you what time it is. But her name was Doreen Dothan. Doreen Dothan channel and then her picture that she used on there she wore a mask and uh, if that's not the mask coming off I don't know what is you know and so I went and I checked out another one of her videos I'm thinking this woman's definitely you know got a demonic spirit evil in her you know and just a real hatred and stuff. You could sense it, see it, hear it. And uh, towards Christians, specifically towards Christians, the things that she said. I looked at the video that Minnie Fish posted, but he gave so much of it, but I went back and looked at her whole video. And uh, then I checked out another video. And then she started saying how, um, how to control the evil eye the evil eye and we know we have that eye on the one dollar bill we know our government is run by people that were all in secret societies I mean we've arrived you know then in Israel to also have a, a girl with a monkey on television now this is the Holy Land I want to remind you the Holy Land wearing just a bra and panties, and then nailing a monkey on a cross, talking about Christians, calling them Nazis, calling Christians Nazis. And just looking at her eyes, it was almost like as if a demonic spirit, you know? These people are nothing more than puppets now being driven. This is why you see this coming out of them right now, because of their hatred towards Christians, and it tells you the time that we're in and how close we actually are. We're a lot closer now than um, everybody knows. I mean, we're really, really close. When you start seeing things like that happening. And uh, I went and I looked at one more bit. That's all I had to see. That was enough. Told me everything I wanted to know. Then that girl on an Israeli bus screaming um, hatred towards, uh, I guess, the Christians too, really hating them, and uh, speaking some different kind of stuff, but talking about how they're going to take people and nailing them to the synagogue, in the synagogue, and tearing their flesh apart in the synagogue. I'm like, wow, man, this place is, you know, 
Remember I told you, I see a lot of people that go to Israel. I, I haven't seen a lot, but I've seen a few, enough, that went to Israel and never did they report the things that I see when I was in Israel. When I was in Israel, I seen the perversion everywhere. I didn't go there like it was going to be a little fun trip. I went there to show what I was seeing. And what I was seeing was uh, demonic perversion, possession, evil, wickedness going on everywhere. Just, I said, it's just like this place. You know, just like it. It's, you know, God's dealing with it all. This is a curse on the world. Okay? And then he has his chosen. Cynthia sent me a thing saying yesterday that she seen on Israeli where they, Israel where they reported there's 177,000 Christians known to be in Israel. And then she was thinking, because of that photo I took when I was 17 and 77, the 177, she was thinking 1717 or 77. 1777. Then something told me it goes now to uh, remove 144,000 from the 177. So I did the math on it and it left 33,000 people. You know, I mean, the signs are all around. When you see things like this, excuse me. It's amazing, you guys, the things that the Lord is revealing to us right now. Yeah, normally I would have got out and did my video a little earlier. I woke up real early this morning, started putting some of these together. And, uh... Then around 6.30, I was like tired. I laid back down. I didn't get up till a little bit before 9. Cabin in the woods, you guys. There's no doubt in my mind we're a lot closer. Many of you guys out there in your family, if they're not awake, if they're not among us, and remember this, if you don't have the spirit abiding in you, and this is why we see and this is why we know what we know. Not because of ourselves, but the spirit that abides in us. That's why Jesus told us to watch. So what is it that we're watching for? We're watching for his word to be revealed. And that's what we've been seeing. Those are the tares that are being gathered first. And when we look and we see what's going on with the people, you know, these are the things that we were told to watch for. And we were being warned not to be distracted or misled by the false stuff that's going on out there. You know, and I've been seeing a lot of that too. I mean, it's just everywhere. It's bad, you guys. Be careful. Be very careful. Okay, you guys. Now. Be careful, you guys, because remember, the Lord opened our eyes, the Holy Spirit's opened our eyes to see the truth. And now what you're seeing is you're seeing a lot of people that say they know the times we're living in, but yet they're still holding fast to the traditions of the world. And we know Satan is the prince of this world. So, is that what you're going to do? Is you gonna, are you going to hold these traditions knowing that we're in these very end times and that we know that these traditions are of man and not of God? Consider these things, you guys. Consider them. Also, you guys, you got family members that are not, that they're looking at you like you're crazy. Let me tell you something. The more you talk to them about it, the more they're mad they're going to get. And they'll start looking at you like there's something wrong with you. And uh, But the closer we get, a lot of these people, let me put it this way. If you don't have the spirit of Christ in you, there's only one other spirit I can think of that you're gonna end up with. There's no middle ground to this. It's the Antichrist spirit, okay? It's Antichrist. There's another spirit. There's a reason for people's blindness that's still in them. Okay, you guys, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 28 to 31. And the base things of the world and things which are despised has God chosen. Yeah, 
and things which are not to bring to naught things that are that no flesh should glory in his presence but of him you are in Christ Jesus who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption that according as it is written he that glorieth let him glory in the Lord James 4 verse 4 you adulterers and adulteresses know you not that the friendship of the world is an amenity with God whosoever there will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God you guys that's that's just that one verse alone you know and, and people you look at what they're doing around you right now then you listen to those little clips like you heard um, what Minnie Fish posted about that woman, her hatred towards Christians. Wearing a mask, you know, saying how it makes her vomit, wanting to vomit, listening, or even trying to get a message out. And then saying, you brought this destruction on yourself. You brought it on yourself. See, this is where they've been trying to... And then even one of those uh, um, Noahides, where he was talking... And you could hear what he was saying, but then he immediately went to, like, the days of the flood. But I could hear what he was saying, like, when the world is, uh, is redone, is going to be redone. In other words, their plan is to de depopulate a lot of the world with their seven laws. That's their plan, okay, to murder a lot of Christians, certainly. But I want to remind you guys something, man. You have people just like the Christians here that are sleeping, that ain't quite awake. And it's because of the world. And this is how Satan has blinded them. Okay? They're all being deceived right now. All right? There are times coming where God will open their eyes. Who are they? I don't know. You know? I don't know. But they're going to have their eyes open. When the time comes... When the rapture happens, there's going to be those that'll have their eyes opened. Amazing times, you guys. It's amazing, you yeah, know, to see and know what we know. Okay. I want to remind you guys, these people that made that old deal with the devil, God created everything, even the evil, for the day of evil. Just like he said, he raised the Pharaoh up for that time, for when the uh, to show his power in Egypt. He raised the Pharaoh up, hardened his heart and mind, so he could do what he did at that time. God's in control of this. So when you read that verse where he raised the Pharaoh up for this, know this: everything you see right now, it's all raised up for this day, for him to show his power again. You know, these are terrors that he raised up for this time. Those who made a deal with the devil to bring you to their feet, them who are on the stages are, un, are there to deliver you into hell and to death. What is it that people do? They go to these stages, they worship these people, they're idols, rock concerts, whatever. You know, these, the people that have been deceiving them. Okay? as the enemies of Jesus Christ are brought to his feet. This is what we're seeing right now, okay? The enemies are being brought to his feet. They're being shown, revealed, but most people aren't watching. They're not doing what scripture says. And it's the cares of this life. They're going out here right now uh, doing these holidays things that they're doing. You know, I don't pay attention to these holidays at all. You know, holidays are totally separated from this world. Okay? Now remember this, you guys. Just as God in heaven said he's going to bring the enemies of Christ to his feet right now, this is what's happening right now. What is it that they're doing? They're trying to bring all the people to their feet. You know, to worship them. Remember, he tried to get 
Jesus to worship him. He wouldn't do it. I had a dream uh, seeing the things of this earth no longer having any purpose to be used for. The rich were throwing everything away in their trash like it was all useless anymore. God's bringing an end to this place here, you guys. The wicked were tested, and now they will soon be no more. That's what has happened here, you guys. Nothing more. You know, they made an agreement with death and hell. It's going to be dissolved. It's in Scripture. Okay? Listen to this. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 Before I formed thee in thy belly I knew thee and before thou camest forth out of the womb I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations Psalms 94 9 through 11 He that planted the ear shall he not hear He that formed the eye shall he not see he that chastised the heathen, shall he not correct? He that teacheth man knowledge, shall he not know? The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, and that they are all vanity. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 2. Vanity of vanity, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity. Okay, so you guys, we've had our eyes opened here to see the truth, to know what's coming and what's going to happen. How in the world can somebody say that they know and still be doing the holidays? Still be wanting to salute a flag? How is that possible? Doesn't make sense to me. How is it possible that you're still going to want to do all these things? Knowing um, this is all over. It's all about to be destroyed. How in the world can't you give yourself 100% to the Lord and, and no longer be of the world? It says you can't serve two masters. And if Satan's the prince of this world and you're over here still doing these holidays, guess what? You're serving another master. Guys, I don't candy coat it. I say it just like it is. Because that's what it is. What does it say? A warrior uh, for Christ? He doesn't entangle himself with the affairs of this world. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Gross darkness. The people. But the Lord shall rise above thee. And his glory shall be seen upon thee. Matthews. 15 verse 14 let them alone they be blind leaders of the blind and if the blind lead the blind both will fall into the ditch John chapter 9 verse 39 through 41 and Jesus said for judgment I have come into this world that they which see not might see that they which see might be made blind. And some of the Pharisees which were in them, in, with him, they heard these words. And they said unto him, Are we blind also? Jesus said unto them, If you were blind, you should have no sin. But now you say, We see. Therefore your sin remains. What do you think this means right now? Right now, what do you think this means? Those that say they see, but yet they still are going back and doing the things of the world. What do you think that even slightly retaliates to? Think about it. They say they see, but yet they're still going back to the things of the world. You call that wise? Willingly ignorant? Proverbs chapter 16 verse 4 The Lord has made all things for himself yeah even the day even the wicked 
for the day of evil. Okay? All these things. It's all been prepared for this, for this time, what's about to happen. Every bit of it. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light, I create darkness. I make peace, I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Romans 12, 21. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Now, he's the creator. He created everything that there is. Now, if he's opened your eyes to see and know what time it is right now, what part of this should you be worked up or afraid of? Should you be pleading anything over it? Knowing that he abides in me? Abides in you? Should there be something that you should be afraid of? Something more you might need to do? That's not written in scripture? You guys, the biggest thing that's going to be the biggest problem for a lot of these people is because they're not really abiding in him. They really don't truly believe but they're still holding fast to the traditions and the doctrines of men instead of the word of God. And knowing, you know, don't grieve that Holy Spirit where you are sealed until the day of redemption. You don't want to grieve it. Now, if you were here to get somebody and all of a sudden everything they were doing was saying, man, nah, they didn't believe in you. Oh, they're going to go do this with the world first, you know? And we're still going to do this because we, you know, we want to keep in doing the things that we've done you know we'll, 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 when we see we'll, we'll get right when we really see you know they're not even acknowledging what we're seeing now because they're having too much pleasure in this still still holding on like I said you guys this is a boiling point what you've seen on many fish um, those people screaming possession demon possession these are all uh, about to get a little worse here. You don't want to be here when it gets to that other level. You want to be out of here when it gets to that level of uh, real wickedness. Now imagine you just seen one or two people here and there. Now imagine when you see them all around you, everybody around you. See, because if they don't have the uh, Holy Spirit abiding in them, there's going to be another one. And it's going to manifest. It's going to be like turning on a light switch. And all these people are going to change. Children will be turning their parents in. Their parents will be turning their children in. To be put to death. Mother against daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. You know. They weren't putting Christ first. You know. Just like Adam. He didn't put God before Eve. You know. He should have. But he didn't. You know, this is what's happening right now. A lot of people are putting their family, their children, their husbands, their wives, their other family members. They're putting them all before the Lord. You know, yeah, you can try to warn them and tell them what you know. But if you're not doing that, and you're still wanting to do the things that are of the world with them. And you had your eyes open to see. I imagine that's it, where you could start becoming more blinder. See, they might even try to get you to start doing worldly things so that you will be have the scales placed back over your eyes and you won't see it coming. But man, if you see it, you want to be throwing those things off your head and throwing them onto the ground and you want to be all about doing the work of the Lord. Okay? These future sinners are saying, you can't earn works, you can't do works and you know, we ain't doing, we're doing what we're, what we're created to do. You know, it ain't about works. We know nobody can earn this. Only by grace can you receive it. You know, and I can tell the enemy when they're trying to come against those that are doing what the will of the Lord is. It's not about works. But everybody will be judged according to their works here on the earth. See, because we were created to do certain things here. All of us were. Just like the evil. They were created to do the things that they're doing. Do. Now, believe it or not, that's works. It's just a different type of works. It's evil works. Versus good works. The will of the Lord. Alright. 
Psalms chapter or chapter 121 or Psalms 121 chapter 7 and 8 the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil he shall preserve thy soul the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even evermore. You see you with your faith in the Lord. This is all you need. I guarantee it. You don't need anything else. Just your faith in the spirit that abides in you. This is where you want to be. Don't be following men's traditions and doctrines of devils and demons. You know, if it's not in scripture, and you haven't heard me read anything about future sins, you've heard me say we have a mediator where you can repent of your sins. You've heard me saying how we can overcome evil through Christ who abides in us. And you've heard me saying how to resist it. You've also heard me telling you those who sin, evil pursues sinners. And you, it's sin that abides in you. So you have to get that sin out. You have to get it out of you. And if you don't, guess what? You're going to be doing more sin. More. More of it. <clears throat> I want to share something with you guys this morning. Before I woke up, I had a dream where I was like on a boat. We were cruising on a lake or something. Water was really, really clear. We were just ripping through the water. And it was like we had like an oil or a scent on us. A smell or something that was on us. And I seen a huge fish jump up. We could, I could see him in the water. And it jumped up on the guy that was driving the boat. And it like put its head next to his lap or something. Trying to get that scent off of him. And, uh, and then I seen one in the water. And I reached in and I pulled it up really quick. And I had it up there by me. And its mouth was open. And I stuck my hand in there. And I pulled it out of the water. And it was a huge, huge fish. And uh, it flopped up over there by the boat driver. And he looked at it. And he goes, whoa. He goes, you just caught that? He goes, you got a big one. And uh, I was thinking, yeah, man. It's got a lot of meat. A whole lot of meat on it. Okay. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 21. Evil pursues sinners. But to the righteous, good shall be repaid. Isaiah chapter 28, 17 and 19. A cornerstone in Zion, okay? I will make justice the meaning, the measuring line, and the righteousness the level. Hail will sweep away your refuge of lies, and water will flood your hiding places. Your covenant with death will be dissolved, and your agreement with the devil will not stand when overwhelming scourges passes through you will be trampled by it as often as it passes night through it will carry you away it will sweep through the morning after morning day and by night the understanding of this message will bring sheer terror okay Isaiah chapter 7 verse 7 But this is what the Lord God says It will not arise and it will not happen Okay These secret societies, these little things that they made I told you God created all these things Even their eyes and their ears The things that they're saying and the little deals they're making With the demonic whatever He knows what they're doing that's why he says it's not going to come to pass. None of it. Everything you're doing. You guys, everybody, this is all, everybody's clearly making their choices here. Clearly. Now knowing these things are about to be dissolved, what are you doing? Are you still doing the things that are of this world? And you say you know we're in these end times? Are you still participating with it? If he shows, are you going to be ashamed of those things still? Knowing that this was just but a vapor and these things are nothing but vanity, all of it? 
Are you going to be ashamed at all by it or not? No. He knows. The people who made their plans here on earth, plans with evil, well, we see what they're doing to, to fulfill their bargain with the devil. It will not come to pass. They speak today, and we know them by their words, the fruit that comes out of their mouth. We know them. And God's word said we would. That's what we're supposed to be watching for and seeing. And many fish mention that too, you guys. Pray for this. Pray to the Lord and ask him for this. For knowledge, to sight, to see everything that God is doing. That's why scripture even says, lean not into your own understanding, but acknowledge God in all your ways. You'll see it. You'll see it. You'll know it. You'll know the truth when you see it hear it. Because the Spirit abides in you. You'll know it. Alright, these are the terrors, you guys, right now, that are being gathered and they know their time is over here. We were told to watch and lean not into our own understanding but acknowledge God in all our ways. In doing this, you will see God's word working on the terrors that he said will raise up. That he said he raised up for this day. Just as he did the day the Pharaoh in scripture. Same thing. Alright you guys. I'm going to start another video here. And I've got two more pages here on this. God bless everybody. I love you. In the name of our Lord and our Savior. Jesus Christ.